OK, question 9. This is a non-calculator paper. And it gives us some information here. It says there are 35 students in a class, 17 study history, 20 geography, 8 study both. Draw a suitable diagram. Well, what would be a really good diagram for this would be a, a nice Venn diagram. Now, so let's get all our bits and pieces ready for a Venn diagram. Let's, first of all, Venn diagram has an outer box that covers everything. That's the whole class. And then it has two circles. So let's draw it like that. And then let's start labeling up some of these bits and pieces. So this left hand circle, let's have the students that study history. And this right hand circle, the students that study geography. And therefore, this bit in the middle here, the overlap, is those students that, that do both. Or you could have this bit on the outside where people do uh, neither. They don't do history or geography. They're over here. So let's put information. Now, I find it's quite easy to start with the ones that study both. I find it's quite easy to study uh, start with the ones that study both history and geography. And that's eight. And then you put that in the middle. That's my starting point. And then we look. We've got 17 that study history only. So inside this circle, we've got to have 17. But we already have 8. So if we're just looking at the left-hand circle here, um, we've got to have, well, how many left? of 17, take off 8. That means we've got 9 left over. And the same thing for geography. There's going to be 20 students in the geography circle, but we already have 8 in the middle in that overlap. So there's got to be 12 there. And then let's just add this up. That's 12 and 8 is 20, obviously. And then add on the uh, the other 9 remaining makes 29. But we have a class of 35 students. We're on 29. So 35 minus 29, obviously, there must be 6 students that exist. Now we call this set, if you want to be really fun, we call this set the universal set. It contains everything. Everything that's not in history or geography. Okay? So, um, yeah. That's how you draw it, so there's the four marks. We'll have a look in a minute of where the marks come from. If we scroll down, it says a student is chosen at random from the class. Find the probability that the study the student studies neither history nor geography. So let's go back up and look at our diagram. So neither history nor geography. Well, that's this bit here, isn't it? So part B the probability of neither history nor geography is obviously going to be 6 out of our total, which is um, 35 for the whole class, isn't it? So 6 out of 35. And that's it. That's how a Venn diagram works. So let's just have a quick look at the mark scheme, and then we'll see where the marks are available, and we'll see how we did. So if I just change the page. Okay. So the first one is our diagram here. You get one mark for two overlapping circles with labels, history and geography. So let's have a quick look at that. Two overlapping circles, history and geography. So we score one mark. Uh, eight in the intersection. And then nine and twelve in the correct places. Uh, eight in the intersection is worth one. Nine and twelve. Right. And then let's look at the final mark. And then it says 6 in the correct place. So 6 in the correct place. Uh, where have we got our 6? Yeah, just down here. And that's our fourth mark. So part A, 4 marks. It says for part B, it says for part B, um, 6 out of 35. And this CAO means correct answer only. Correct answer only. So, um, Let's have a look. Well, isn't that what we got anyway? I think that's what we got. Yeah, 6 out of 35, so we get a single mark for that. Okay? I hope that uh, helps. Uh, if not, then get back to me.